Yeah, so true. We live in a generation, don't we, where under the guise of tolerance and niceness, a growing number of people have lost the ability or even the willingness to contend for the faith. But affirming someone in their error or sin is not actually the loving or the right thing to do, is it, Simon? Tell us about that. No, it's not, David. And I, and in, in the opening of my book, I sort of touch upon this. And I mentioned in Jude, if you read um, the book of Jude, it's only one short chapter. You can read it maybe (laughs) in about five minutes or you spend a bit longer in meditation on it. But Jude opens up telling um, the people he's writing to, he wanted to write to them about their common salvation, but he didn't. Why? Because certain men had crept in amongst them and they were distorting the word of God. So although Jude wanted to talk about this great theme of salvation that he had in common with these other believers, which was obviously important to him, the truth of salvation. He realized that he couldn't because there was something else that he needed to touch upon. And he was really getting them to contend. These are his own words to contend for the faith that was once delivered to uh, the saints. And that word for contend, literally, it's like a, a wrestling term, you to agonize for yeah, yeah. the faith. And a, and a lot of people today, sadly, don't want to do that in the guise of being tolerant or, or loving, but you're not being tolerant or loving to someone who's in doctrinal error. It's not, it's not a good thing. See, many people think, well, the good thing would just be to keep silent and don't say anything about it. But that's not biblical. The Bible tells us, you know, we're to confront, we're we're to do it in love. And when people go off and they sort of place the Bible to one side and just give their opinion, no, we're to correct that. Um, We're to rebuke gently and and sharply, but we we are to do that. We are to correct. We are to confront um, when false teaching comes into the church. Yeah. So helpful. Thank you, Simon.